we got to play four quarters. And we can't, you know, we got to be able to switch and stop the momentum from, from a great team. That's Deshaun Watson talking about what he learned after watching KC come back from 24 points to beat the Texans in the playoffs last season in big board sports. We are quickly approaching the Dallas Cowboys first game of the season at the LA Rams and one hot topic continues to be will the boys stand or take a knee during the national anthem and will they do so as a team or individually from wide receiver number one Amari Cooper to QB one Dak Prescott opinions on that topic differ defensive lineman Tyrone Crawford said the boys are planning to make a statement. We definitely you know have uh, you know the the green light on all that. <laughs> but, you know, also um, just trying to, you know, find something that's going to make a boom. You know, it's not just going to be something that people look at one time and, you know, kind of just swipe by it. You know, they're like, oh, that's great. You know, the Cowboys did that and then swipe by it. I think <clears throat> we want to do something that makes a boom. And, you know, that's something that people remembers and it actually creates some change. And we will see what happens Sunday, September 13th, 720 p.m. And the Rams host the Cowboys at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California. It is about to get real for the Houston Texans, who will kick off the 2020 NFL season Thursday at the Super Bowl champion Kansas City Chiefs, the 101st season of NFL action. The Texans held their final intra-squad scrimmage Wednesday, and doing so under the lights to better prepare for the night game in KC. The Texans got in some good work, had fun, and walked away healthy, says Deshaun Watson. Well, well you know, we're getting uh, <clears throat> the details, you know, um, finished up. On, on exactly, you know, of training camp and, and things like that. And, you know, the beauty of it, we everyone came out healthy. So, uh, you know, we all came out healthy and the scrimmage was well. Got some, you know, good competitive plays and, you know, in a, in a setting where we got to get used to, um, especially for our home game. So it was nice to be able to get on the field and just kind of, you know, let it loose. KC will host Houston Thursday night at 720. The Chiefs will allow about 16,000 fans to attend the game at Arrowhead Stadium. Astros and Rangers wrapping up their three game series in Houston Thursday. Bottom of the first, Astros infielder Aldemus Diaz caps off a four run frame with a three run shot to left field. His first touch em all this season. Astros starters at Grinky went six strong. Houston wins eight to four, taking two of three from Texas, and they trail Oakland by two games in the AL West. Toronto was jumping for joy last night because the champs are back in the series. Game three between Boston and Toronto. Raptors down two. Kyle Lowry passes across the court to OG Anubi, who makes the three at the buzzer. Excellent pass. Huge bucket from that young man. Toronto takes it 104-103, and they trail in the series two games to one. And in the West semis, the Clippers, the Clippers route the Nuggets 120 to 97 in game one of that series. Guys, and that Toronto game was crazy. Not only did he hit the it? buzzer beater, but he got it over Taco. That was like just by inches. Yeah, it was like, kind of like he just flicked it up in the air and <laughs> arced right in. Yep. Thank you, Larry. All right, so we have a lot of fun stuff coming up on SA Live today, but we don't have the milkshakes or any food that we had yesterday. <laughs> but no, no you pressure. don't. However, I have a question for you, and that's going to be coming up in just a moment. Okay. So put your thinking caps a on. A instead of food. Well, <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got to live with that, pal. Anyway, hey, Labor Day weekend, the unofficial end of summer, and we are going to send it out in style. How about something cool and refreshing? Look at how beautiful that is. We're going to try and make this beautiful, tasty treat that the whole family is going to love. Of course, a lot of folks may be headed to the beach for the long weekend. We're going to take you to a pizza joint where you can enjoy a, del enjoy a delicious pie while looking at the Gulf. Are you hungry for something to binge watch? We talk with one of the stars of Hunger Games about how you can watch the games for free. And a long holiday weekend is the perfect time for a cold one. <laughs> Jen's enjoying it. We're going to take you over to Beer Fest over there at SeaWorld. OK, here's your question. Speaking of beer, what goes best with beer? Is it pizza, tacos, something else? Got your taste buds going here. We're going to pop the top on a new SA Live coming up. Never miss a story. Watch live or when you want. San Antonio's latest news and weather. Streaming free on KSAT TV. And here's a feel good story for your Friday. Miss Ethel Carroll is turning 106 years old and several community members wanted to make sure she could still celebrate. 
S dozens of people stopped by her home to wish her a happy birthday while she sat near a window to watch them. Carol says the key to living a long life is to wake up every day and feel grateful. So sweet. A and big happy birthday to ab you. Absolutely. I'm, I'm wondering if she chose beer with pizza or tacos. Hmm. My choice. Pizza. I, I think pizza. Yeah. yeah. Pizza goes good with everything. Yeah. With that, we will, uh, let's see what Justin thinks. <laughs> Well, a beer and pizza sounds like a good choice, I think. Uh, live radar shows we've got some showers and storms out there right now. Pretty widespread here around South Texas. We're going to see more of this, I think, through the afternoon. It should keep temperatures down a little bit. We're thinking highs right around 90 degrees. But uh, just be aware, there will be some good downpours, some lightning and thunder here and there. 40% chance tomorrow. We dry out a little bit Sunday, Monday into Tuesday. But some more chances next week, guys. All right. Thank you, Justin. Well, that is all of our show for now, thanks for joining us. SA Live starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from the KSET 12 studios. This is SA Live. Hello and happy Friday. And wow, that's going to make it a really happy Friday. We made it to the Labor Day weekend. The party is getting started there. And find out where Jen is enjoying. Well, that's a beer and then some. That's coming up in just a couple of minutes. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. Fiona is off today. And of course, with this long weekend, some folks are going to be maybe tipping back a couple of beers. So we've got a question for you. What is the best combination to go with a beer? Is it beer and pizza, beer and tacos, or maybe it's something else? Let us know. Take some pictures if you want to and tag us at SA Live KSAT, and you might see that just a little bit later on in the show. Well, of course, Labor Day is a special holiday, kind of the unofficial end of summer. Hopefully we are progressing into some cooler weather. And speaking of progressing, this is something for us to celebrate because we have our first live interview that we have had out here in the KSAT Garden in about six months or so. So, hey, a big, big warm welcome for Lauren Cuevas, who is joining us from Ice Ice Hello. Baby. How are you? I'm Thank you so good. much for being here. Thank you for having me. And to celebrate our first live interview in forever, it seems like, what are we making today? We are going to be making a fresa nada with a rose on top. Who came up with this idea? I actually did. I like to be creative. I like to make stuff when I'm at the shop doing nothing. It's so fun. what's all in that? So it is our strawberry Italian ice with Chamoy and Lucas. And we have these little watermelon hearts with rose picosito belts and a rose on top. All right, how do we get started? So first we're gonna start with the chamoy and the lucas. You're gonna pour it all in there, make sure the cup has a lot of that. It's everyone's I mean, favorite keep, part. Keep going down in there like that? Yes. Okay. okay. Next, what you're gonna do is add the strawberry Italian ice. Oops, it's my this cup. This is made with real strawberries, so it's very delicious. Ooh, this is really good. Yes. Okay, so you're just gonna scoop it up, make a little nice dome at the top. So this is all nice and healthy, right? Yes, healthy-ish. <laughs> it has fruit in it, it has fruit in it, that's what matters. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, I like that. It has fruit in it, it's healthy, doesn't matter what it is. It has and it's a fruit. little bit warm out here, yeah. so it's not quite as perfect. Okay. And then. You're gonna get your plates yes. and you're gonna put them on these sides. It's okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. That kinda holds everything in there? It holds everything together, yes. All right, uh, so it's been six months since we We've had a live guest on and a lot of stores have been closing down. How has your business been doing in the past six months? We have actually stayed quite busy. Mm -hmm. I think our shop is kind of a way for people to get out of their house, have a little family time, go get some snacks. So we've stayed pretty busy. Plus in the summertime, I mean, this is just something nice and cool. It's and like you said, it's treat. pretty much healthy because it has fruit in it. So yeah. <laughs> that's, the, that's the story that we're sticking to, yes. right? Okay, now do I put the strawberries in or I do okay. the strawberry? You are gonna put first. the hearts first, actually. Okay, so yes, I you're put gonna these put in. the hearts around like a little flower, make them look nice and pretty. Okay. Yeah, and the plates are what holds it up together. Ah, I see. All right, what other drinks do you have at your place? So we have lots of drinks, actually. We make all our drinks fresh to order. Mm -hmm. We have aguas frescas. You tell us what fruit you want in it, and we'll blend it up right on the spot and make it for you. I had an extra one. Is that okay? <laughs> Eat it. Yes, it's perfect. The fruit, help you. <laughs> okay, so we've got our hearts around there, and now yes. we make the rose out of a strawberry, yes, right? Yes, perfect. So you're gonna get your skewer with the little picocito ball, mm -hmm. and you're gonna get your strawberry. Scooch and this up to the top there? Yes. Like that? Okay. You're gonna place the strawberry at the very top, just stick it in there. Oops. 
helps if I use the pointy end of the uh, skewer, but hey, what the heck, so. And then you're gonna get the knife and just cut little slithers all the way around it and make it look like a rose. Okay. It's and a you little are difficult. You are located on Bandera. Bandera, yes. Bandera right inside the loop? Yes, sir. Okay. And what are you expecting for this weekend? A lot of folks coming out? Families. I'm expecting lots of families already. We are excited for a busy weekend. Yeah, and then you're okay, just gonna place kind of it. Rosy looking like that. <laughs> and see, oh mine see mine fell uh -oh. through too. It doesn't have to be perfect, it still looks good, it still looks good. It it still all eats the same, yes, right? It's gonna go in your stomach. So after that what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the toothpicks and you make little flowers. So they're oh, okay. gonna look like this, okay? Okay, so this so is this, this is what it wants to look yeah, like. This oh, is what it's like supposed to look like. Okay, and then we just put those in there? Yes. All right, and while I try and do this, if you would like more information on Ice Ice Baby, just head over to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. So you're just gonna and kinda twirl. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's, it's still okay. rose by any other name, as it's. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And it's still gonna get eaten, and it's still gonna be delicious. That's what matters. Voila. <laughs> Thank you very much. And again, click on uh, salive.com and. Uh, the As Seen on SA Live tab. Okay, so we've got our tasty treats, but we are wondering what to do this weekend. How about a beer fest? How about heading out to SeaWorld? That's where Jen Tobias Trusky is right now. Good afternoon, Jen. Yes, exactly. It kind of feels like fall. I have the jacket on, even the rain boots. I got Chuck with me and, of course, some delicious food. Look at this pretzel. Look how huge that is. <laughs> Talk about a beer festival. This is what it's all about, right, Chuck? It is indeed. Thank you for coming out to SeaWorld's annual Beer Fest. It's happening every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday throughout September. Today is the inaugural day. We're kicking it off. It's raining a little bit, <laughs> but we're still going to hold that. We've got, uh, of course, 60 different types of beer. That's six zero types, wow. types of beer. Yes, 60 types yes. of beer. You can get it actually in this commemorative mug. Come on out here and sample 60 different types of beers, and you can sample the traditional pub favorites like yes. the giant pretzel that Jen has I mean, right there. Told me it wasn't too big, but look at that. Yeah, we've got schnitzel, <laughs> uh -huh. we have potato pancakes, we have a pretzel kraut sausage thing there, you name it. <laughs> our chefs uh, in our culinary department have uh, served up a, a, a culinary feast for beer fest. And definitely um, the taste of the culture, the German culture, because I know we've made these on our show before, but I love that you can come out here and get all of that now, because it feels like fall. It does feel right? like fall, particularly today. Now, if it wasn't <laughs> if it wasn't raining, we would normally have a band out yes, here. Yes. We've got Terry Cavanaugh and the Alpine Express. They were fantastic. Yes. Kind of a polka band really getting you in. I almost wore Lederhosen for you guys today. <laughs> it would have been great. But ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> so yeah, beer fest, it's just a great time for friends and family to come out to SeaWorld and have a good time and, and raise a glass. Raise yes, a glass. Cheers, cheers to cheers, that. Cheers. So many different items you can order out here, but the fun doesn't stop there, right? Because SeaWorld is now open all year. Yeah, we're really excited about that. Starting in 2021, there are no months that we're closed, so we will be open January and February on select dates, so you can come on out. You know the weather in South Texas. Uh, sometimes it's nice and warm in January, and we want to give folks the opportunity to come out to SeaWorld and enjoy all the great things that they love. Of course, the animal attractions, the animal interactions, the rides, and the events. Now, this is one of our events, Beer Fest, but rolling out of Beer Fest into October, we're going into Spook Spectacular, yes. of course, Halloween, Halloween right a around the corner. A little different this year, right? A little different. Yeah, this is a, a daytime event. It's family friendly. It's non-scary. So think <laughs> kind of kooky, not spooky. Yes. It's great for the little kids to come on out. We're going to have a hay maze, socially distanced, of course. Yes. Um, we're going to have a um, uh, very safe trick-or-treating. People will be wearing masks. Uh, and just, just a really good time for the family to come out and enjoy Halloween. It's spectacular in October. And then, of course, we roll into Christmas. Uh, we've got SeaWorld's Christmas celebration as we have millions of lights. I've lost track of how many lights that we have there. There's always something fun to do out here at SeaWorld. So it's worth it to take advantage of the season pass that you have. Yeah, yeah. We've just announced that we're saying the new 2021 season pass is on sale. You can go to SeaWorldSanAntonio.com and purchase that. If you get it now for a limited time, we'll give you the rest of 2020, all of 2021 for not only SeaWorld, but also Aquatica. And Aquatica is open until the middle of October this year. Oh. So it's a really, it's a really great deal. It's under 80 bucks. So can't pass that one up. Got it. Okay, so they can get that season pass deal. Come out here. 
Rainer, yes, see, rain or shine, people are out here. <laughs> rain and or what shine. Else, what else do they need to know about SeaWorld? Because y'all still have all the fun shows and attractions. We do. We've got but you're the, keeping the social distancing. We are. Yeah, we got. you got to make your reservations to come out to SeaWorld. Go to SeaWorldSanAntonio.com. Make your reservations. Really, really easy to do. Make sure you wear your mask. You will be asked to wear your mask throughout your entire day, except for when you're eating and then in our <laughs> relaxation zones. Yes. Uh, enjoy all the great shows. Learn about animals. You know, fellowship with your friends and family and just have a good time with us. All right. Well, I'm going to hand you the pretzel. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and give you, you want the potato? You want the potato well, pancakes? You know, I'm tested with this, this applesauce here, and I'm sure, Mr. Mike, I'm so sorry. Again, I hate to rub things into you, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and try this. Give it a nice bite. Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Hold on. You had to <laughs> so take good. a bite, Jen. I'll have a beer. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, Mike. I'm so, sorry. I okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. how about saving that, that dog with the sauerkraut on it, with the beer, for me? Can we have oh, a doggy bag okay. of beer? Okay, take a bite of this? Oh, really, Jen? <laughs> okay, you know what? Look, this is, this is for you. This is for you. Okay, back to you, okay? I'll try. When it was for me, I thought it was for me, not the bite. Anyway, thank you very much. Oh, that looks so good out there. Oh, beer fest going on. The, my mouth is just watering. Hey, still ahead on SA Live. Most of us are lucky if we have just a little bit of extra time to squeeze in a workout. We're going to show you some easy moves that will tighten and tone your whole body. But first, hey, celebrity alert. Josh Hutcherson from The Hunger Games has some really exciting news about that popular series, and he shares it next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, we're all itching to get outdoors, but there is plenty of reason to stay inside. So have you just exhausted all of the great binge-worthy shows and you're looking for something? Hey, you can have a binge-worthy Labor Day weekend with four doses of The Hunger Games. And even better, Tubi will be streaming them for free. And Jen Tobias Strusky got to chat with actor Josh Hutcherson about what he's been up to and how exciting this is for all you Hunger Games fans. We are chatting with one of the stars, Josh Hutcherson, also known as PETA. Known for so many films already throughout your career. And now here you are chatting about this. How exciting is this for your fans? It's, it's super exciting. I mean, you know, the Hunger Games have been uh, an amazing, huge part of my life. And the fans are, you know, the greatest that I've ever seen anywhere. And now they are going to be able to watch the Hunger Games, all four of them, for free on Tubi. Um, which is just great. It just it's it's so perfect. The timing's perfect. Right now, people have to stay at home as much as possible, and uh, they're running out of things to watch. And now they can watch this for free, along with a bunch of other stuff. Yes, I think now more than ever, we're all binge watching a lot more. The past what six months has it been? I don't know what a month is anymore, so I have no idea. <laughs> And one of my producers, Robert, a huge fan of yours, by the way, wanted me to ask, how similar are you to PETA? I mean, you know, we look a lot alike. <laughs> um, you know, yeah, we, I, I think the biggest similarity I have with, with PETA is just his uh, his belief in, in, in not becoming a piece in someone else's game and always keeping your moral center and fighting for what you believe in. And for me, that's been like a, a guiding, a guiding pillar of, of myself in this industry, my personal life, everything. Um, and just knowing that this industry especially can try to change you and put a lot of pressures on you to become something uh, and, and sticking to what you want to be is, is, uh, is extremely important. Have you learned anything new, tried any new hobbies during quarantine? Oof. I don't know if it really took it on. It kind of took, took me on. Um, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm not good. I'm just not good. And uh, I'm okay with that. I enjoy it. It's very, like, meditative and lethargic. I like to just mix the colors together. <laughs> That's one of my favorite parts of painting. It's, like, pre-pressure of actually making something that someone would like to look at. Uh, you can just play with the colors. That's what I, I like to do. And what's it like working with Jennifer Lawrence? I just have to know. She's so awesome. <laughs> She's, she's amazing. She's everything. I mean, not only is she endlessly talented and, and a brilliant actress that brings so much to every every scene, every moment, she's just an amazing, weird, odd human um, that, you know, that we all fell in love with from the start and, and became a, a family. So it's it's, uh, it's great. You never know. You never know what's going to happen with her. It's, it's always, it's always a, a crap shoot in, in the most fun way. 
Well, I know you're a Kentucky boy, but how often do you come around to the Lone Star State? I, I've been to Texas quite a few times. I have some friends living in Austin, so I go there every now and then and visit. Um, I All my life living between Kentucky and L.A., you know, we, we drive across all the time. So we'd always make stops throughout Texas. So you like Tex-Mex food, right? I, it's Tex-Mex. I mean, how can you not? It's delicious. <laughs> Any kind of cheesy, nasty burritos, queso, obviously is always great all of it i love all of it i, I am i i do eat plant-based diet so i have to find some alternatives there's no barbecue there's a yeast but now like they have you know vegan and vegetarian everything and it tastes like even better sometimes than than the the uh, regular version so i'm i'm down i'm so hungry right now too even talking about this i want to come to texas and eat some vegetarian tex-mex let's go Hey, don't go anywhere because we have part two of this interview with the Hunger Games' Josh Hutcherson a little bit later on in the show. He shares with Jen who he is dying to work with. All right, still ahead on SA Live, does your Labor Day include a road trip? Our David Elder shows you where you can grab some really delicious pizza right by the beach. And next, maximize your workout and waste less time. We're showing you some easy moves that are going to impact the whole body. National Self-Improvement Month. And Brandi Webb, owner of Pure Bar in New Braunfels and Alamo Heights, and some of her team members there are going to show us some simple moves that work the entire body to tighten and tone. Hey there, Brandi. Hi. All right, so you've got a studio in New Braunfels and new to the Alamo Heights community, right? Yes, we're so excited. We opened on uh, July 1st, and so we're uh, building a great community of women. Um, we're so excited to be open there. So let's talk about why Pure Bar is such a great workout for people of all fitness levels and ages. It's low impact, but a high intensity workout. We meet you where you are, so everything can be modified. Um, we work the entire body, every single class. So um, that's awesome. And we're really focused on um, the core strength training, upper and lower body. So it's just, it's a, it's a wonderful, um, hopefully experience from start to finish. And even women going through pregnancy, right, can participate? Yeah. Right. It's great for pregnant women. Um, I've had several instructors and tons of clients um, say that, um, you know, even like going through with their second pregnancy saying, oh, I wish I would have had this um, for my first pregnancy, help me recover from my C-section so much quicker. And so, yeah, it's, it's amazing, amazing um, technique. Now, even though it's music based, you don't have to have a dance background, right? <laughs> no, no background needed. We moved to the music um, just because it feels really good. It's super motivating. Um, but we guide you through everything, so no dance experience needed at all. Um, and it just it's a super fun, musically driven workout that helps um, you know motivate you. All right, let's show us uh, some of the moves that that we can do maybe even at home. Yeah, awesome. We're gonna start with Cameron. Cameron is uh, my lead instructor. So she's gonna take her feet hip width apart and parallel. She'll extend her leg all the way out straight, flexing her foot. She'll soften the bend in this knee to protect the joint, and then she'll make sure her tailbone is heavy, which keeps her core nice and engaged. She'll just start with an isometric hold. She's squeezing the top of her thigh. So anyone can do this. Um, she is super strong, her leg is high, but you can lower it. You just take it to your highest point, and then she'll add in her upper body by taking the arm all the way straight, and then she'll add in some little lifts. This is gonna fatigue, you may see her legs start to shake and that is what you want. Complete fatigue and that's why we get results so quickly. <laughs> She's gonna do um, an exercise for the inner and outer thighs. So she'll start with her heels together and toes apart. She'll rise a few inches, reboot the heels, and then she'll bend her knees and take her feet towards knee level. Again, a heavy tailbone with a neutral spine keeping her core engaged. She'll take her arm up and then she'll side bend as she crunches. This is working the obliques, um, really getting into the side body, warming up the inner and outer thighs. And then she'll come upright and she'll go all the way down as long as her posture stays upright. That would be her lowest point. And if you're at home, you can use a countertop or a chair or a wall. And then she'll hold it low and do little, little pulses to just burn out the inner and outer thighs. All right, so tell folks how they can participate in classes these days. Yeah, so we have lots of options. Um, we start with a free class called Foundation so that you can get um, a basis um, about the technique. It's still a great workout, but we just slow things down a little bit. 
And then from there, we have both in-studio and virtual classes. So you can do one or the other or both. We're able to provide um, so many options just to make it convenient and easy. All right, Brandy, where can folks go for more information? They can go to purebar.com. You can search um, all the locations, find the one nearest you, sign up for a free class, and keep moving. Get started. Brandy Webb, owner of Pure Bar in New Braunfels and in Alamo Heights. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Hey, still ahead on SA Live, Jen has more with actor Josh Hutcherson. We get to find out about the actor behind PETA, including what's his to-go cocktail? Hmm. Maybe it's beer and pizza. Hey, plus, want to take a road trip over the long weekend? Amazing, speaking of pizza, pizza at the beach. Pretty great destination. Our David Elder shows you where. That's next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Hey, when you think of the coast and the beach, you usually think of great seafood. But when David Elder went to Galveston, he had to try pizza and see why locals say this is a must try when you visit. We're wrapping up our stay here in Galveston by going inside one of the wildest pizza places here in Texas. And also happening right behind us is one of the largest Mardi Gras parades outside of the state of Louisiana. Let's go check it out. <laughs> With me right here is Carmen Malilli. He's the owner operator out here at Mama Teresa's Flying Pizza. And it really is flying in here. It's like yes, you guys are throwing is. the pizzas up to the ceiling. 15 feet. That is insane. Yeah. Now, as the owner operator, I, is it a trade that you've learned that you're now teaching other people in here? Or how does that work? Well, I mean, we started in Bolivar, you know, uh, back in 1983. Uh, we got wiped out by Hurricane Ike. In 2008, we relocated here. 2015, we've been here four and a half years. And, you know, of course, you got to teach younger guys how to do this because you can't do it forever. But uh, we're loving Galveston, and Galveston's loving us. I mean, I learned along the way, I mean, working, working places and stuff. My mom's always been a, you know, in the kitchen kind of person, you know. She's more about all the dishes that come out of the kitchen. Wonderful. Lasagna, manicotti, eggplant parmesan. I always, I just fell in love making pizza. <laughs> I guess they call it New York style. Okay. You know, I mean, it's it's not a super thin crust, but it's not a thick crust. So it would be New York style, I would say. Yeah. Cheers to you. Thank you. Pizza that you think that you, like when you dream of pizza, you're like, I want the cheesy, I want the goopy, I want everything. This is the pizza that you want when you wake up dream after a good dream of pizza. I agree with that. It is melty. The crust on the outside has a really nice texture to it. Nice and tender though on the inside. Just the right amount of sauce. It's not overbearing. It's not pouring out the sides. The cheese is the feature here. And then you have the pepperoni slices that have that little, little char on the outside and you know they've been cooked just right. That's absolutely incredible. And I'm a, I like the crust on there. I love eating the good crust. The crust is excellent. Yeah. Mm. Look at that, man. Mm. Incredible. Now, we got to try the cheese pizza. There you go. Bam. That's going to be really hot. It's just everything you want from a pizza. Yeah. You got, you're like you're like a star in here, right? Everybody uh, knows I mean, you. I know my clientele. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, I should. Yeah, you know. You know I mean, yeah, I definitely love it here. Now, there's other Italian restaurants on the island. Yeah. But I would definitely say yours is known for the pizzas. I agree. I guess, you know, I mean, when you're called Mama Teresa's Flying Pizza, 
people think pizza first, but I mean, if you get the white clam sauce or the shrimp alfredo, lasagna, manicotti, all, we make everything from scratch. You may change your mind and say, you know what, the pizza's <laughs> great, but that kitchen's pretty good too. Nice. Carmen, I gotta say, man, pizza's absolutely incredible. I can't wait to try the other items on your menu. But thanks for having us in here tonight. Definitely. It's Fat Tuesday of all days to be out here in Galveston, man. It's crazy out there. It's great. But incredible. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Thank you so great much. Great meeting you. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. You know, I don't remember getting a doggy bag. Anybody else around here? Hey, season two premiere of Texas Eats is next week on Saturday the 12th. But if you can't wait, there's a ton of great food on Texas Eats this Saturday, tomorrow at 10 a.m. right here on KSAT 12. You can also watch on KSAT.com and the KSAT TV app. Really hungry for pizza. Still ahead on SA Live. It is one of the best parts of the Labor Day weekend. All those great shopping deals. We're showing you the discounts that can save you really big bucks. And next, we get to know actor Josh Hutcherson and what he does when he's not making movies. But right now, we're learning about how you can have an AC system without ducks with KSET local expert, John Wayne Service Company. Hi, I'm Kevin with John Wayne Service Company, and today we're at our homeowner's house installing a ductless mini split system and an upstairs lofted area that used to be an attic. So this particular house is built in the early 1900s and it's not uncommon for these homes to, to have very little, if any, insulation in the walls, uh, underneath the actual floors, or in the attic. In this particular occasion, the attic was converted into an upstairs lofted area, so it's extremely, extremely hot upstairs and there's no way to run any duct work from the main HVAC system. That's the reason why we're installing the single zone mini split system. So for those of you that are unaware of what a ductless mini split system is, it's actually a wall mounted unit that is mounted on an exterior wall uh, that connects to an outdoor condensing unit. And there's no duct work involved, so they're extremely efficient, very, very quiet, and it's a true zone system. Uh, what's beautiful about it is, is, is when you're not using that particular room where it's mounted at, you can turn it off and you're not paying for any unnecessary electricity. You can rest assured that once we come inside the house, uh, our installers are laying drop cloths down from the doorway all the way to the point of the installation. Um, we're wearing our protective, uh, protective masks right now, shoe covers to keep your floors clean. Uh, everything is done very professionally and very cleanly. Uh, what we'd like to say is, is when we leave the house, our homeowners don't even know that we were there to begin with. Once again, I'm Kevin, and if you think you could benefit from a ductless split system in your home, please give us a call or visit us at johnwayne.com. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, we showed you the first part of Jen's interview with Josh Hutcherson earlier in that part of the show. Now it's all about his go-tos. Plus, who would he love to work with? Here's part two with Jen Tobias Drusky. Some fun questions for you. What are your go-tos? What's your go-to cocktail? Uh, a whiskey on the rocks. I don't know it's a cocktail. What do you just call that? Just like a whiskey. <laughs> simple. <laughs> yeah, Keep it simple. Do you have a go-to snack? Go-to snack is probably apples with peanut butter and raisins. It just takes me back to a childhood. It's delicious. Yeah, very healthy. Yeah. So when no one's watching, what song would do you just go crazy singing to? Uh, probably a Whitney Houston song because, uh, really? God, Whitney's, Whitney's amazing. Uh, I obviously, I can't sing at all. So it's fun just to <laughs> scream. And so I just scream Whitney Houston <laughs> when no one's listening, only then. You've been in so many movies, but is there somebody you want to work with that you haven't worked with yet? Oh man, uh, I'd love to work with Sofia Coppola, director, writer. She's brilliant. Um, Joaquin Phoenix is, you know, my favorite actor. Uh, God, there's so many. There's just so there's so many. I, I just I, I want I like to keep going in the path that I'm on and 
and hopefully cross paths with some more of these amazing, amazing talents. Any other fun facts about you that you want to share with your fans that are such loyal fans? They know everything, man. I did, we, we, all these press tours, I just, I gave up all my secrets. I got nothing left. <laughs> I Even like the painting now, the painting now they know. It's so great chatting with you. What's next? What's in store? What's the next project, next movie? <laughs> well, right now, just trying to um, hopefully the world can sort of start to come together and move past uh, the pandemic. And, you know, the, the industry right now, the film industry, it's slowly starting to kind of come back to life. But uh, it's taking a time and, you know, we just got to do it in, in the safest way possible. But I'm, uh, I got some products in development had like three movies that were supposed to be going sometime in the summer, but now they're all sort of pushed. Got a project I'm gonna direct next year. So we'll just kind of, you know, it's all up in the air. I'm, I'm taking it day by day. Well, you'll definitely have to stop by San Antonio sometime and we'll show you some really good vegan Tex-Mex. I, I'm, I'm down. Josh, it's been such a pleasure. You stay safe out there. Thanks for chatting with us and we'll definitely be binge watching. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You know, one question, our standard for all celebrities, she didn't ask, corn or flour tortillas. So if he comes to town, we ask him that question. Hey, for more on Tubi and to make sure you sign up to stream all four of the Hunger Games movies, head on over to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Coming up next on SA Live, Labor Day is known for deals, where you can get the best deals and maybe more importantly, what you should not be buying over this long holiday weekend. Don't go anywhere. You know, Hunger Games is a very active, physically challenging survival mode kind of thing. Um, I've been surviving on my couch, sometimes my bed, um, the kitchen table, you know, so it's been it's been a little, a little less physically demanding, but it is, it is surviving in its own in its own form. And there's a mental element of needing to put mind over matter um, that's coming to use probably. When you think of Labor Day, you think of summer parties, long weekends, and of course, deals, saving money. And we have another round of deals for you. This time with Sarah Skirball and Retail Me Not. It's found tons of discounts you can take advantage of over the three day weekend. Good afternoon, Sarah. Good afternoon. Thanks for having me. Oh, most certainly. Okay, so what's going to be different this Labor Day when it, of course, comes to shopping? Yeah, so there's three trends that I'm seeing this year. Number one is pretty obvious, but the rise of online shopping. More and more people are spending time online. According to our Retail Me Not research, we know that 56% of Americans were planning to shop for back to school supplies online. I don't think that Labor Day weekend shopping is gonna be any different. The second trend I'm seeing is the rise of buy online, pick up curbside. This is a safe alternative to shopping in store. In many cases, it's completely contactless. You can, you can, you end up um, doing all of your transactions online. You show up to the store, call a number, show your driver's license, pop the trunk and you're on your way. And the third trend that I'm starting to see is a good one, big bargains. At the beginning of the pandemic, we saw a lot of retailers having trouble selling through inventory. Now they're dealt with a lot of excess inventory and the way they move it is to discount it, which means significant savings for us shoppers if you know which categories to look at. Okay, well with that in mind, what categories are having the best deals this weekend and then what specific deals are we seeing that are just can't miss deals? Yeah, so I have five categories I'm going to talk through along with the deals. Um, I'll try to go quick because I know it's a lot of info. The first category is cable and streaming services. So the good news, you're gonna find deals upwards of 50% off. The bad news, you might be doing a little extra binge watching this fall. Um, so if you've been waiting to sign up for Netflix or Hulu, they have deals for as little as $8.99 a month. And in some cases, you're gonna get a free month free. So second opportunity to save are on genealogy kits. If you've been interested in learning more about your ancestry, your DNA, your genetics, now's the time to buy. 23andMe is offering, if you buy one kit, you're gonna get one kit for 20% off as well. So that's a great opportunity. This is a great gift. It's informative, it's interactive, it's unique. It's a great way to get to know your friends and family a little bit better. The third category are mattresses. So three day weekends in the middle of the summer are the best time of year to buy mattresses. Labor Day weekend is no different. You're gonna find deals upwards of $600 off. So look at places like Mattress Firm, up to 50% off. Casper, they now have stores, but you can also buy online. You're gonna get 15% off. Plus Retail Me Not has 8% cash back. So 
Fourth category you wanna pay attention to is patio furniture. Here in Texas, we have a few extra months of warmer weather, so you're gonna get really good patio furniture deals right now, upwards of 40% off at places like Home Depot and Lowe's. Even Overstock is offering up to 70% off on Labor Day deals. So you can take advantage of our warmer weather and enjoy those patio furniture deals. Last but not least is apparel and clothing. You're gonna be hard pressed to find any store who's not offering a Labor Day clothing sale. So if you're in the market for some new clothes, I actually stocked up at Gap Kids for next year. I bought some sizes. Uh, they had shorts for $5, t-shirts for $6, upwards of 75% off. American Eagle also offering up to 50% off. Carter's 50% off. Macy's an extra 20% off. Um, so lots of really, really great apparel brands and clothing retailers offering significant savings. Okay, best tip for saving money this weekend. Best tip, find a coupon, a promo code, a cashback offer. Uh, Retail Me Not's a great resource for you. Free, everything's free to use. There's a free app, the website's free. And if you're not taking advantage of cashback, now is the time. It's the best way to earn money while you're spending it at the same time. Fantastic ideas, Sarah. Thank you very much for all these tips. Great shopping. Need to have you shop next time when I go shopping. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hey, Monday on SA Live, how much do you know about Labor Day? Fiona and I put our knowledge to the test, and of course, you can play along at home with us. Plus, it's National Beer Day, and David Elder is diving into a, get this, 60 ounce margarita. There's a party in itself, where you can find it Monday at one on SA Live. Stay with us. Welcome back, everybody. Of course, early we asked you, what's the best pairing with beer? Beer and pizza or beer and tacos? David says beer and beer. How about both? I like your style, Sharon. Hmm. Texas Roadhouse for kebabs and a dress. Oh, my goodness. That sounds good, Rose. And Mary Jane says, I don't drink, though I sure will eat tacos and pizza. I like that idea, too. Hey, Monday is Labor Day. We're going to be putting our uh, Labor Day knowledge to the test. And, of course, Monday is then National Beer Day. We're going to be celebrating that. And David Elder, a 60-ounce margarita. That sounds really good. Hey, back to the beer. Don't forget, this weekend over there at SeaWorld is Beer Fest. And if you don't feel like getting out and you just want to hunker down looking for something to, uh, to stream or to stream for free, by the way, and binge watch Hunger Games, all four movies on Tubi. If you need more information on that, go to our website, salive.com. Have a fantastic weekend, everyone, and happy Labor Day.